Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video and today I'll be doing a, another PID tuning tutorial on the ZMR 210R here. So this has Emacs RS2205S, 2300 kV motors, HQ5040 tri-blade props. I know I said I was going to try the DYS5042 um, tri-blades to tune it, but just the more I thought about it, the more when they're flying, I, even if they were tuned, I just did not like how they performed at all. So I'm just going to stick to my favorite, uh, which is the HQ. It's got DYS XS30 amp ESCs, X Racer V3.1 Play Controller, a Runcam Swift with a 2.5 millimeter GoPro lens, uh, Turn to Graphene 4S 1365 C, and I'm trying out a new. Uh, you can see hopefully a new chest mount here to get better, um, better stick cam video. And I've got a 200 milliwatt Dragonfly, a FreeSky XSR, and a uh, Dragonfly booster antenna. So let's get this up in the air on stock Betaflight and see how it feels. Alright, here we are. So we're testing out this new uh, chest mount up here, but it's the SJ5000X. The audio probably sucks. Let's take off. This is Betaflight 3.0.1 stock values. I hear some oscillation there. It could be because I had a fall into the mud when I lost video, and I did my best to clean out the motors with pressurized air and water, but they're definitely, the, the bearings are not new anymore, which is a real shame because these are brand new motors. Just gonna take a second to put this in here, uh, definitely the bearings. I didn't know it was this bad when I was flying. Um, you'll see in the HD footage all throughout this video, there's tons of yaw jitter. Not really vibration, but yaw jitter. And I might be able to solve that by soft mounting the flight controller and the motors, but I don't really personally like soft mounting. I kind of feel like it reminds me of a, a Taylor Swift song, uh, Band-Aids Don't Fix Bullet Holes, that uh, line. So uh, yeah, I have some new bearings on the way in to swap out to see if that's the issue. Which I'm pretty sure it is. But yeah, I'm definitely getting something there, but I think we might be able to help out with PPA. But I'll leave that go, so let's check the roll. Just how it feels on P. It feels pretty good, actually. Nice and tight there. And pitch. Pitch is a little looser. I probably want, uh, I'm going to raise the roll P just a tiny bit as well as the pitch P, just to get a little tighter feel here. Alright, so here we are back. I have now, I raised the P on the pitch and uh, roll axis by two on each, so uh, I think it was 43 up to 45 and 68 up to 70. That feels pretty good right there. Yeah, it feels like what I'm used to. Looks like we're not having much bounce back either. Just do a roll over the tree to see how that lines up and feels. Need to go faster to do it, right? Feel the right, so now let's feel out the yaw. The yaw still pretty loose. The yaw normally is. So, okay, let's bring it in and raise the yaw because the yaw is probably, I think, at, at uh, something like seven. All right, here we are with the, the yaw from seven to nine. Because I find that on these type of frames, and especially just y'all in general, you're going to need a uh, higher value such as around 9. So, yeah, that feels a lot tighter there. Yeah, that feels good. Let me make some turns. Because if you don't have a high enough y'all, it just, your, your nose isn't going to hold and turn. You 
see it's holding very well there. And especially if you're tuning for a race quad, you're gonna want a higher higher p-values all around just to help you keep your line better. So yeah, I think these p-values feel all right. It's basically p is almost entirely feel, except when you get into like prop wash oscillations. So I just kind of do them real quick and leave them at that. So now let's test our eye gains, which we're looking for in drift. You can see on punches. Oop, that, that yaw right there was me, actually. I felt my thumb move. Um, hopefully you can see I look at the trees. We're dropping pitch and roll, it looks like, just a tiny bit. Um, but hardly any. Yeah, it's rolling to the right and pitching forward. Do some sliding turns. Yeah, just a little bit, but very good. That's probably one of the best stock I've seen where it's not dropping. And higher um, eye gain does not do it by itself. Higher P gain will help also with dropping. They have to work together, but... Yeah, you can see violent ones that does it, but... Uh, so we're definitely gonna raise that. I usually raise Yaw some as well, just to make sure it's behaving. Ooh. It's pretty hard to get eye oscillations. Like, you're gonna have to really crank it. My pitch normally ends up about 80, so... I don't have any problems with it going too high. Yeah, they're actually really good, so we'll just raise them a little bit here and see how that helps. Alright, here we are with the higher eye gain on the roll pitch and yaw to see if that quiets it down on the punch. So it looks like we're still dropping on pitch and roll. You can see there. I think yaw is good. So let's uh, bring pitch and roll up a little bit more. And we'll try that. Alright, here we are again. So I've gone up to 75 on the pitch. 60 on the roll. See how that helps. Looks a little better, but I'm actually going to just feel it out. I think that it's definitely holding well enough to fly. So, I think it'd be worth taking a uh, look and trying a little bit of higher P on roll and pitch to see if that helps it a little bit more. Because like I said, they have to, uh, roll and pitch have to work together um, to keep the nose steady there. So let's just try bumping the P up a little bit. And But other than that, I'm pretty happy with that. And then we can start um, raising up the D. Alright, here we are with the increased P on the roll and pitch to uh, try and help with the bounce back up it by uh, two points on each. Not the bounce back, the dips. I feel like it helped a little bit uh, looking at that there, but it's really hard to tell. It'd be easier to tell in the HD footage. It's got a lot of oscillations though. I, I bet it's these motors. Rough bearings since I ruined them in the mud. All right, well that that feels pretty good there. The P and I values. So now let's work on the D. We can test the oscillation here. You're never going to be able to get it all away, but D definitely helps. So 
little bounce back. Little bit on roll. Not seeing any on pitch, but I can hear a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. Alright, so. Quite the landing. <laughs> So let's uh, raise our D up just a little bit more on the roll than the pitch as I was seeing more bounce back on the roll. Okay, here we are, raise the D on both axes there. It already feels a lot smoother just from flying here. Drop flush there. And try and do your best to see what axis you're on. It's really hard, especially in FTV. The footage. Easier in HD. It looks like... Maybe y'all. Maybe roll. Let's check bounce back. Still there. Better. Alright, so I'm going to bring it in here, and it looked like it might possibly be y'all that we were getting, y'all um, oscillation there on the prop wash, so, but, and we were still getting bounce back, so I'm going to raise the pitch and roll D a little bit, and I'm going to actually lower the y'all P just a little bit, you should probably do them separate, but I'm running out of daylight here for this video, so yeah, let's do that. Okay, here we are with the lower y'all P. <laughs> and a uh, higher D on roll and pitch again. And make sure when upping your D to test your motor uh, for 30 seconds, um, fly it and then feel it with your hands to see if they're getting too hot. Because if you put D too high, you can smoke a motor and you see. It's not really a huge issue anymore with the new versions of Beta Flight, but you still need to be aware of it. So let's test the prop wash. I think that's pretty acceptable. Wow, this guy's flying there. Oh, I think that's actually good enough. This tune obviously is not perfect. Uh, obviously, I've only done about five batteries. You can definitely get a lot better. And with these motors, like I said, I dumped them in the mud basically because my video went out. And just spinning them by hand, I can tell that the bearings are damaged. They're never going to be smooth again. So that's probably where some this is. So I don't really want to take more time tuning this right now because I'll probably be getting new motors for this get the chance but uh so yeah this looks pretty good hopefully heck bounce back it looks like a little bit there but i think that's plenty acceptable so yep yeah. oh a little snow in the camera there so as usual yep let's uh i'll do another flight here a full flight with a new battery to test out the tune fully without having to talk to you guys and I'll add some overlay um, music in, and then we'll finish up. Run free and dive into the sky. Hear the wind crying out its prayer. Why are we so ashamed to be alive?
There we go, all done with the tuning video for the ZMR 210R from FPV model. There will be a link down below if you wish to check out the parts, as well as a couple different links. I'm not sure exactly what I'll put, but I'll put something down there. Um, I did a couple different videos. I did build videos on this, the setup video, and an initial parts video. But yeah, it flew pretty well. And if I haven't checked the HD footage from the GoPro here that I'm recording on right now, but if there isn't vibrations, I, I feel like there is going to be because I could see them in my FPV cam. They're just the shakes from these motors. I, if I spin them by hand, I can hear the bearings are really rough once again from when I lost video and had to ditch it in the mud. So hopefully that's not too bad. But you can see that thing ripped. It ripped really good there. That was probably one of the best flights I've ever had. And it was just right off the block here with a new, a new quad. So I, I definitely do recommend these parts. I think they work very well together. Please subscribe if you want already. Um, I'll leave a link down below to my Patreon if you wish to help support the channel in that way. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.